Tonight's going to be a special stream because we are starting up Mortal Kombat 1 here. We're going to be playing through the story mode of this game. Uh, now, not a lot of you may know this. Uh, probably none of you know this, but Mortal Kombat is actually my favorite fighting game series, I would say. I freaking adore this fighting game franchise. I've been playing it for many, many, many years. I don't think I've ever featured this on stream, though, ever before. I always love playing through the story modes of these games and playing things besides the story mode as well. Uh, my older brother and I have always loved these games, and so we always ver verse each other and stuff. And so, you know, that being said, with this new game that just came out, Mortal Kombat 1, I've been playing this nonstop the past day. Uh, we just got this the other day on my brother's PlayStation. We've been versing each other, checking out all the characters, and it's been wonderful. I'm really enjoying the game so far. And uh, I haven't played the story mode yet, so I figured that's what I would say for this stream, because those are always a blast to play through and experience whenever a new Mortal Kombat drops. And so uh, I wanted to feature that on the stream here uh, tonight. So that's what we're going to be doing. I don't think it's super long. So yeah, I've got this again now on uh, my Xbox here, and uh, I'm ready to stream this for you guys. I'm really excited. So let's jump right into this. This game starts right where the last one left off, with uh, Liu Kang assuming the role of the Fire God. Restarting the timeline um, after he gets fused with Raiden and you know using his godlike powers to construct this rebooted era here in Mortal Kombat 1 that we're going to be working through. And it's so interesting so far. We've been checking out a lot of the trailers. Um, I even reacted to one of them in my uh, YouTube video where I was checking out the trailer where they reveal Shujinko, who's actually my favorite character. I know I'm kind of in a minor minority here, I would assume when I say that, but yeah, Shijinko is my favorite character, and we reacted to the trailer where he was revealed along with some other characters too, but anywho, I digress. I've gone on long enough. Really excited to fire this up. Thank you in advance to anyone who stops by. Really do appreciate the support on all the streams um, and all the YouTube content and stuff, and all right, let's just jump in now. Story mode, uh, difficulty. Let's go with, yeah, let's play, with me play on medium. Uh, story test your might? Wait a minute. Test your might is, I know it's back, but it's in the story now? I don't think we've ever seen that before. That's kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're definitely leaving this on. Imagine turning that off. Uh, subtitles are on as well. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Can't wait, man. I've been so excited for this game's story mode. Oh, yeah. Love the art direction in this game, too. My friends, your patience is about to be rewarded. Uh, I've seen this well, opening before. The best for last. I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency. It will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld. This elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe. It has Patreon flowers, Margovian nectar, powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon. All this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? <laughs> so ominous. You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. Snake oil salesman. I'm so, yeah. sorry. You are someone fool enough to have believed you. My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later, she was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? It's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. <laughs> Almost feel bad for Shang Tsung here. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> this is a great opening. So yeah, I've seen the first 20 minutes or so of this game that were unveiled by IGN a couple months ago. Not a couple weeks ago, I don't know. 
feels like it was a while ago, but some really cool stuff here. Getting glimpses of this, of these rebooted characters and the directions they've taken here in this uh, era created by Liu Kang, including good old Shang Tsung, classic big, big bad villain. So Liu Kang defeats him in the last game, resets the hourglass, and constructs his own universe. It is an excellent ruse, your disguise. And here we are now. Rona goes back too. Backwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. Here on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want. Shang Tsung, is to elevate you, to make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me. And I will put the realms at your feet. <laughs> God damn, though, man. These facial animations. I want to say NRS is, are probably one of the best companies in the business right now doing uh, facial animations and character models. They look so goddamn good. It's funny how he becomes the big bad at the end of uh, MK11, where Chronic is also a big bad, and they both fuck up, and now they're like trying to work together army. again. <laughs> yes, <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here, stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <laughs> Hey, don't be disrespecting old man way like that. Come on now. As long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! <laughs> Since when? You're on, Raiden. That's <laughs> wholesome. One of my favorite things so far about the rebooted timeline here is how all the characters we know and love from the original timelines uh, have dynamics with other characters now, right? Like. Raiden and Kung Lao now are like the two sort of brothers in arms, unlike um, how it used to be with Liu Kang and Kung Lao, you know? And it's cool to me how Raiden and Liu Kang have kind of swapped places. Like, Raiden's the, the fledgling learner and Liu Kang is the, is the god, you know? Who has a bit of the OG Raiden in him. It's kind of sick. That is amazing. Looking forward to seeing these new dynamics. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Don't make her mad, boys. Though I should my fatality your asses. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. <laughs> if you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Like the little slap Good. sound effect? You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madam Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? 
<laughs> the bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? <laughs> cool. Cool way to do the first fight. Wait, you mean fight? That's exactly yes. what he means. Right here, right now. You better. Madame Bo can watch. Critique our form. I paid some crisp Canadian dollars for this experience. Kung Lao. Best two out of three. Fair enough. Damn straight, we're fighting. We must be careful. I mean, Raiden. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that. Of Liu Kang sitting in the shadows there. In no time. He looks so Fight. evil and ominous, even though he's the opposite. Oh, oops. I'm Kung Lao here. Nice. Let's go. I played a tiny bit of Kung Lao. Didn't get a whole bunch of time in with him. Let's uh, go ahead and check out some of his moves. Uh, Kung Fusion. Okay. Shaolin Spin. Pretty easy. Oh, it makes sense that he doesn't have a lot of moves, right? Because he doesn't have a special hat yet with the blade. I was like, wait, why does he only have three moves? That's not right. Then I realized it's a story mode, so he hasn't gotten his uh, bladed hat yet, so he can't do all those slicing attacks. Man, this game is so fun, man. I uh, personally like this a lot more so far than MK11. It's still kind of a heavy fighting game, right? The characters feel kind of slow and sluggish, even the, the faster ones, but way less so compared to 11. And uh, it's definitely a preferential kind of thing, you know. Some people are going to prefer that style of fighting to this, but... Oh man, this is exactly what I wanted. Somewhere kind of in between X and 11. Uh, X was really fun because it was like super fast and fluid and characters didn't feel super weighty, but... 11 kind of became a little bit too weighty. We both know how this ends. Almost felt like in that game, you were playing... The, the characters felt like they'd kind of been drenched in water and... They were kind of like, you know, being weighed down by their clothes. That's the feeling I sort of got. Let's go. Oh, God. Damn it, Raiden. Come on, man. You might break my bones. We're friends. Oh, there goes my cranium. Oh, oopsies. Oh, oopsies again. Get off of me. Dropkick. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did a bit of that move, too. I've been playing, like I said, Kung Lao and like his uh, dropkick move. Oh, true. Dive kick from the air. Now, one thing I will say that I noticed this game lacking is an ability to pin moves. I hope they add that in an update because it's kind of a bummer that it's not there. Makes it easier to learn combos and moves and stuff and sort of master them. Haven't beaten me yet. The day's coming, come now. Poor Raiden. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> the irony. If only you knew what Raiden was capable of in the vast multiverse. You oh, were all wow. hungry. Oh, everything was delicious, Madame Bo. Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Uh oh. Oh man, Smoke. I love Smoke so far. He's probably my favorite character in this. Madame Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. Such a fun fighter. He's so speedy, and his moves are awesome. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Madame Bo's a boss. Know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madame Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madame Bo, is unfortunate. Love oh, that they brought him back. He's been gone since 9. I mean, technically, he was there in X, I think, as a tribor, but... Oh, man, this is cool. Oh, no. Oh, not cool. Not cool. Definitely not cool. Rip Madame Bo. Smoke, I like you, man, but don't make me not kind of not like you, you know? <laughs> Cool way to introduce cameo fights. We're gonna 2v2 now, right? You two are brave, but against us, you are in over your head. We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Matt. Very cool. Sub Zero isn't here yet. I think I can remember um, this part of the game from the IGN video I saw before the game came out of the first 20 minutes. I think Sub Zero comes and joins him, or Scorpion. That's another really cool thing. So in this rebooted timeline. 
Sub Zero and Scorpion are friends. But this is awesome, man. I love how the game starts with Kung Lao instead of Raiden. And they kind of alluded to Kung Lao taking the mantle of main character uh, of this new timeline at the end of the last one, right? In the post credit scene with Liu Kang coming to this era and paying Kung Lao a visit. Oh, shit, we got Raiden as a cameo right now. <laughs> Ruffian. I freaking love Smoke's design in this game, how he has a dagger and he has, like, short hair now. And Oh, he's so sick. Everyone looks like such a badass in MK1. Oh, shit, let me try some of uh, Raiden's cameo moves here. I don't, I'm not going to open the move list too much on this playthrough of this story mode, just so I don't, you know, break too much immersion. But you see, it's like a cartwheel right now. Right, he can't do his lightning yet. That's what's kind of cool about this story mode is the characters don't have all their abilities right off the bat. So it's, um, they'll sort of like cannon that way. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. <laughs> now who's in over his head? Feels so weird playing as these characters without their signature moves. Like I hit, I hit R1, and I'm like, "Where's Raiden's lightning?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, right." Come on, let's help Madame Bo. I'm so curious how he's gonna get his lightning in this. There he is. Huh? Wonder who that character is. It's not like he's iconic or anything. <laughs> this is so badass. Probably the biggest change in the timeline. You interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. <laughs> Biggest change in the timeline. Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers. So dope. They went from rivals to brothers. <laughs> Thank you for your service, Ed Boon. Want more? I have plenty. <laughs> when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. Fight. These games are like theme park rides. They're like so thoroughly enjoyable. Oh my god, what the hell happened? My audio cut out. That was weird. Sorry about that, folks. Audio straight up cut out for my Xbox. Hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, damn. Scorpion. No, no fair, Ming. I don't have all my abilities yet. Ah. What the hell, dude? Come on, dog. Not cool. Raiden, get in here, Ming. I need you. Ow. Oh, yeah. Take that. And that. Nice. Thanks, Raiden. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, I hope he doesn't use his fatal blow. He probably won't. I'm assuming the... Enemy computer doesn't use the fatal blow unless you're playing in like hard mode. We'll see. Right now I'm just playing on normal. I kind of want to enjoy the story here. For what it's worth, I'm not regretting this yet. All right, let's go. Game's not done yet, my friend. Nice. <laughs> that was a move I was looking for. That was another really fun one. That's cool. So you can drop kick and then follow up with just like triple kick attack. Hey man, Kung Lao is actually kind of fun. I just ended up playing him quite a bit. I've always kind of enjoyed playing Kung Lao. Oh, that's scary. All right, the enemy computer can use the uh, Fatals, even on normal. I like that. <laughs> Don't pay to finish that. It is you who will regret crossing me. Roro, Rain is not having a good time these days. <laughs> Liu Kang trolled the shit out of him. Completely depowered this poor man in this new timeline. <laughs> Oh, I remember this fight. This is funny. 
Oh no, that's not funny. Kind of funny. <laughs> really funny. There it is. Incompetent. Oh, that works. <laughs> so, I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grandmaster. You start the, the fight with this hat off. That's funny. I wonder if there's going to be like a skin you can unlock through like the um, in-game shop or whatever the heck. Or you can like kind of unlock uh, early Kung Lao without his hat or something. Oh, damn, son. I got some tricks up my sleeve, too. Ooh, combo breaker. Oh, shit, man. Some zeros. Classic slide move. There it is. Epic fail. Holy epic fail. Yeah, that audio bug was weird. Sorry, but but there's an happen again. Can any of you in Quay fight? I'm actually really enjoying doing that. Alright, confusion. That's where you grab him and give him like a head massage, right? It is indeed where you grab him and give him a head massage. Oh, perfect. Time that well. So I guess whenever the uh, opponent's about to attack, Raiden, you kind of cartwheel him in. You like shut that shit down. Or he shuts that shit down and your opponent doesn't stand a chance. With some cameos, obviously, you don't want to call them in because they could get kind of cancelled out, too, by the enemy attack. Love the new cameo system, by the way. I know I've been talking about it, but I haven't mentioned that I really do enjoy it. Thing is really neat. I like how they spice things sure up you're a grandmaster? in each game with different mechanics and stuff and ways of approaching the characters and their the way they fight. Interesting. Hung Lao, over here. Okay, so this is all new territory for me. I think this is where the um early Madame preview Bo. ended. She's out cold. Oh no, is she dead? Not yet. <laughs> Game has a lot of comic relief. I like. Uh, <laughs> Madame Bell's a badass. <laughs> what the How fuck? How are you, Kung Lao? Amazon, they better make her a DLC fighter. Get this guy. Forget Fire God Liu Kang. We need Fire Goddess Madame so, Bo. Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. Or Smoke Goddess. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. <laughs> I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire, and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? <laughs> Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test. Of your ability and character, yes. Huh. Li Han, Kui Liang. What? No way! What the hell? Oh shit, they're good guys? That's fucking awesome. I thought they were bad guys, but that the only cool thing is that Sub-Zero and Scorpion are now brothers. That's the only good thing, but no, they're actually kind of good. All around. Hell yeah. <laughs> what a wholesome so these twist. Two aren't thugs. The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. 
You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. <laughs> the monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I like how they're headstrong. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Xian? I'm needed here. Earth Realm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. It's kind of cool how you can infer why Liu Kang made certain characters the way they are in this new universe. Like, obviously, he wanted Sub Zero and Scorpion inherently be allied, right? After their bitter rivalry in the other universes, and for Raiden to kind of like, you know, repay the favor to Raiden and make him who he used to be. We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route, and take care of him the same way. way Raiden took care of him in the old universes, you know? Hey, who are these? <laughs> A freaking Indiana Jones. No way. Wasn't aware Combat Pack 5 already dropped. With the Indi Indiana Jones, Luke Skywalker, and whoever else. Can't wait for pack number one, by the way, with Omni Man and stuff. It's going to be so good. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I was hyped for this game. Omni Man, Homelander, Peacemaker. Guest characters are always dope in these. Man, she looks hot. God damn it, Alessia. Said no one ever. The darts came from here. Oh, what the hell? Wait, is that Johnny? It is. <laughs> Can you open it? Without killing us? Huh. Let's hope so. Johnny Cage, time to uncage the cage. Is he our chapter one? Kind of like an MK9, you start the game with Johnny. I think you do, right? What's interesting to me about his character in this one is he doesn't have his green aura powers from what we've seen, but... Maybe that'll change. Well, I don't. I have no idea what to expect in this story. Turn them off. And we're definitely getting warmer. <laughs> How are these still burning? Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. Hey, that's a menu theme. That's cool. What the hell is going on? Start watching Indiana Jones right now. This is a movie stream. Grab the popcorn. And the anti uh, copyright strike repellent. God, Ravala. And his shield. Is that Havoc? What? You no, know, Havoc's a zombie or something. That's another thing. I love how there are deception characters in this. Oh, so, man. There's metal in the floor. That's not just any metal. It's liquid mercury. Shit, that stuff's toxic. Fatal. Only step where I step. Everything is fatal in the Mortal Kombat universe, I swear. What did I say? Uh-oh. Seen way too many stage fatalities throughout MK history to know that if you fall in that, that's gonna be bad, boys. That's not slip and fall. I'm sorry. I... Not now. Get out the explosives. All right. That's our bridge. Do this right, it'll fall across. Oh, yeah. 
dungeon crawling. Oh god. Hi. Who the hell are these? The Kali Ma? They're real? The Kali what? The Kali, please don't working. kill us. I'll take care of the she beasts. <laughs> the she beasts. You disturb Contra Valor's slumber. Oh, you'll sin, you Wait, die. is that who is that? Is that fight? Okay, Kalima, I was not aware that she was a character in this. Alright. I was like, wait a second, we're not at, we're certainly not fighting this character, right? And we are, okay, cool. Right? I'm like, who is this? I'm so curious as to what's going on, right? We got Johnny Cage here, and he's some kind of like adventurer. They're not jumping straight into his whole acting chicanery. Oh shit. Oh god, and we got this Bozo named Adam who's our cameo right now. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be his taunt, right? How do we not, not punch again? Oh man. Asking the wrong I'm I'm aware you do not have nuts, madam. I'm sorry, I'm asking the wrong questions right now. Did not mean to offend. But what I did mean to do is beat me. Should probably check out my moves. All right, Shadow Kick, <laughs> Rising Star, Ball Buster. There we go. Shut up. Okay. 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 We'll bust your balls. Oh, okay. Looks like you do have balls after all. I mean, you gotta have balls to try and take down the one and only Johnny Cage. <laughs> I love how he tries to film a TikTok when you call in your fucking assist. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's always so satisfying when you hit both the cameo and the um, main fighter. It's great. Yeah. So had of you. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! Bad. Get away from me. Oh, she is. Ow, oh, she is. Oh, she yes. Crabs look so cool in this game. Uh, I got to check out my special, or I'm sorry, my basic attacks. Uh, okay. Forward X, Y, A. A lot of forward X ones. Might be. I played like maybe one game of Johnny Cage off stream. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's dope. That's like an overhead. That's so neat. I like I like his combos. Adam, get back in here. Who said he could leave? <laughs> Boink. Got no time to die, crazy lady. <laughs> Got no time to die. Here he is with his one-liners. You okay? Yes, we ready? Cheesy action movie one-liners. Can you imagine if the whole thing is like a, a film? Let's go. That's what I want to say is happening right now. I have no idea, though. They're definitely shooting a major motion picture right now. If you're going to zoom out and then the director's going to go cut. <laughs> this will be worth millions. It belongs in a museum. I wouldn't go near that guy. They're definitely shooting a movie? Question mark? Who the hell are you? We are not have it. You don't need it. You're dead. Speaking of which, you just killed my best friend. And I'm not one to forgive it. Yeah, this is definitely a, I, I feel like they're definitely shooting a movie. <laughs> the way he's delivering the lines and stuff, he's like acting right now. I, I don't know. We'll see. The bala bala. I like how this, uh, yeah, these are definitely not characters you get to play as, like, since the first time around, I was like, wait a minute, maybe we get to fight as whatever she, whoever she was, Kalima or whatever, but now that we're fighting this other weirdo named Katara Bala, I think these are definitely just characters made specifically for the story mode. I think they did a similar thing in, uh, 
MKX, actually. Oh no, wait, did I just like toss his uh, shit back at him? Alright, so got a 1v2 this. Definitely nowhere near as bad as MK9. If you know, you know. I'll take this any day of the week over having to fight two actual fighters. This is one fighter. That game was kind of brutal in the story mode at times. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> story mode's kind of sick, man. It's pretty bonkers. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, that's definitely a thing that definitely makes you very dead. And uh, so is this. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Come on, come on. Let me, let me have this moment for epic commentary, dude. Come on, bitch. Where is it? No. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I did not, did not mean to do that, though. And uh, so is this. Yes, for your children. There you go. I meant to do that a while ago for epic commentary. Oh, my God. No. Bruh. It's cool how these freaking story mode only fighters have some cool ass animations and shit. Like, they kind of went all out with them, you know? This one's for you, Adam. That's cool. I like how their little uh, tiny lines after each round are references to the story. They're not just generic, you know? It's kind of dope. So is this. Oh, yeah. Got you, Adam. Don't you worry. Must be smiling down upon me. Oh, God. Surely you've got your Hollywood Walk of Fame star up there in the skies and the clouds nice <laughs> force push there we go practical effects baby now where's that shield i am not yet defeated yes you are <laughs> Well, a freaking Captain America on. there. Kai, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> so did I. You felt it too, right? Even Johnny's at the same thing. take thirty-nine. That's awesome. Tail slide. That's a wrap. Dude, it's exactly the way I called it. That's fucking awesome. And even Johnny went, I knew it. <laughs> That's great. Dan, this was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Just I mean, like it was kind of obvious, it. but the way I predicted, the way they did it was kind of sick. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> you did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch, you know the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films, maybe a streaming series. Johnny, I don't have your right. <laughs> Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marsha will call you. This is great, man. I'm liking Johnny a lot so far. Your assistant call me. Well, that was great, hon. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But Johnny, we need to talk. <laughs> oh, you see a green screen in the background. That's a lit way of introducing him. You're not the megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris. We're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10000 on that sculpture, 30000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. Oh, that sword comes it's Kenshi's from... sword, right? That's not the point, Johnny. Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. 
I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. <laughs> cool. Chris, come on. Johnny Cage is a stage name. Going? Is this new? Have we known before that his name is John Carlton? Fuck. I'm pretty sure it's this new shit. For the new timeline, right? Hi, or Jenny. Mr. A-list. Thank God. All right, here Come we go. Ah, I... uh, yeah, man. Kenshi looks dope in this game. Fun fact, he's my, my um... Wife. What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. One of my top three favorite characters in MK. Some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way you're Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Let's go, boys. It's time to fight my favorite dude. I don't want to fight my favorite dude. <laughs> this is so dope, by the way. Like I was saying earlier, it's really cool to me how in this new timeline, they're establishing new relationships between characters who previously didn't have much to do with each other. So there's just like little rivalry here between Johnny and Kenshi, which you would never would have expected. It's the unlikeliest uh, characters to like kind of pair up here in this scenario. So far, I love the way it's been recanonizing things. Very cool. Oh man, that's very cool. I gotta use that move more often. It's kind of dope, so... Kind of like morph through. And then why do I jump over? Come on. Ah, weird analog shenanigans. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Sorry, Kenshi. Should have gone for your eyes. Wink, wink. Should have gone for your eyes, not your balls. That reminds me, man. Kenshi's, <laughs> Kenshi's supposed to be blind. I'm scared now. I was going to go blind in this story mode since he's not blind yet. Not sure I want to see that. I repeat, I'm not sure I want to see that, considering this is an MK game. Oh, God. Bam. Just appreciating the view in the background right now. All right, cool. I'll focus on the fight again. Typical late list stacker. Got a great view. Somewhere in LA or something. Oh, shit. Come on, Kenshi. You're even worse than those goddamn extras in that movie I was shooting. Stop trying to not my be one house, of my favorite characters. My rules. Man, it's slacking. <laughs> that was easy. <gasps> so, you have a name or what? Kenji Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Almori. Damn, Johnny there Smart. They were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Taira for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family to crime family. <laughs> I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption. Reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. <laughs> it's a great Malibu, story. true. Bullshit. <laughs> and I love how... Great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. <laughs> oh, Johnny's kind of smart in this, right? He's not just a complete... What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny King. <laughs> I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, <laughs> this is so funny. Nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh... You sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. <laughs> Chris, you vixen. <laughs> Nicely done. Sure. <laughs> come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. 
I think he's the best Johnny's ever been. <laughs> he's so great. He's kind of like a smart ass, but also kind of with a smart when he needs to be. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. <laughs> it's not just a prank, bro. If you please. Love how he still thinks it's a prank even after right, fighting Kenshi right. for real. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Hey, you. Uh. Wait, wait. Hey, you. <laughs> get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> Was that necessary, brother? That's an IRL fatality. Him in his place. That was a hit truly. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. <laughs> you crossed the line. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'm loving this story. Love the character interactions a lot. I love this a lot too, sub. Check out my moves, boy. Oh, damn. Come on, where's the nut puncher? Sorry, it's just a prank. Okay, so it's like down forward B to do the cartwheel. I see. Please don't fatal blow me. No, why is your bro helping you? I thought he was doing some other shit right now. I'm scared of that fatal blow sign. You guys need a better fight choreographer. Show out, please. It's gotta be so interesting though, because I wasn't aware Scorpion is able to be a uh, fatal blow partner. Because typically in this game, the main fighting cast uh, can't be cameos, right? Do your best. Do your worst. Do your best and your worst at the same time. Okay, there we go. That works. <laughs> I was just trying to do something that didn't work. Scene. I hope you're insured because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. <laughs> Smoke alarm, of course. The That's fucking worst. Special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. Well, that last one tracks, but what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> 